Hello and welcome to Vidhri Android channel and also welcome you to the series of video tutorials on develop Bluetooth 5.2 IoT applications with Thunderbolt BZ22. So today in this tutorial I am going to show you the out of box demo of BZ22. This out of box demo basically comes with the board itself uh, when we purchase the board and uh, also I am going to show you the, some of the um, uh, basics about uh, Simplicity Studio version 5 and how to use it. Okay for BG22 and for Bluetooth IoT applications. So let's get started. Go and open the Simplicity Studio. So if you have not installed the Simplicity Studio version 5, so I recommended you to go through my previous video tutorials on BG22 and uh, uh, go through the, uh, the installation second video tutorial and then try to install the Simplicity Studio version 5. So once the Simplicity Studio version 5 is open, uh, the interface is look like this and uh, IDE is basically based on uh, Eclipse based and uh, and you might also aware of that every Eclipse based IDE when it is open it will prompt for the workspace. So for us it is not prompting that means uh, the Simplicity Studio version 5 is not prompting for any workspace. Okay, By default it is taking some workspace Okay, uh, we don't know what it is. So in order to prompt the uh, IDE for the workspace uh, we need to change some settings. Okay, so for that go to the windows and then click on the preferences and here search for the workspace and click on here workspaces and then here we have an option called prompt for the workspace on startup. So check this box and then apply, apply and close and then try to restart the IDE. So I will open it again and this time it will ask for the uh, workspace because we have uh, changed the settings. So here you can see this, uh, this is the uh, workspace uh, location. So I will go with the default as of now and then I'll click on this launch to launch the Simplicity Studio version 5. Now we will see a welcome to Simplicity Studio page. Okay. And uh, I will see a getting started. And here you can see that uh, we haven't connected any devices to this. So when you connect your device, basically it will show here in the debug adapters. So it is always recommended to connect your board before we start with the projects. Okay. So I'm connecting my board to the PC. So once the board is connected and uh, once the drivers are installed, and you will be able to see a Thunderbolt EFR32 PZ22. And if you want to explore more, you can expand this. Okay. And you will be able to see the MCU part number and everything. Okay. And it will be shown uh, under the debug adapters. Okay. And you can see once the board is connected, uh, the um, debugger is automatically detected. So EFR32 PZ22 has uh, a J-Link debugger. Okay. Here you can see that. Okay. And to start uh, anything with the uh, Thunderbolt PZ22. So you need to click on the start button. Okay. And once you click on the start button, uh, it will show you the, uh, the board name. So in our case, we are using Thunderbolt PZ22. Okay. And this is the ID. And here you can see that uh, there are some uh, tabs available here. This is the overview. In the overview, you will be able to find all the information related to the board, uh, so which is connected via JLink silicon. Okay. And then uh, debug mode should be uh, onboard device and the firmware. And if you don't see that the firmware is the latest one, I recommended you to click on this update button here. Okay. Uh, because I have already updated the firmware. So that is why it is showing it as a latest. Okay. And then you can also read the read firmware version and the SDK. So I'm currently using the Gecko SDK suit of version 4.0.2. Okay. You can always go ahead and install the latest version of uh, SDK, which is recommended. And here in the right side, uh, it is showing some recommended quick starter guides. Okay. So you can go through the, all the documentation. The one of uh, the beauty of the uh, Simplicity Studio is everything like the documentation, manuals, like board schematics, everything you will find in the ID itself. You can able to navigate to those uh, documents using a Simplicity Studio version 5. And if you come down a little bit, you will be able to see a board uh, image, okay? And the board revision number and also the part number, okay? And if you want to see the uh, documents related to the board, here you can click and you will be able to see all the documentations 
okay and uh, here as uh, regarding the part uh, so you can see the documentation related to this and you can also find some uh, errata so uh, of the efr 32 bg 20 next to the overview so you will have another tab called example projects and demo okay so if you click on that first time it will take some time and you will be able to see all the demos example projects solution examples and also you will see something called filters suppose if you want to filter the all the examples with gecko sdk shoot or if you want to only uh, concern about the peripheral examples uh, something related to quality everything even if we have a filters uh, search box here here you can able to uh, search whatever you want so currently we are uh, interested in uh, bluetooth based projects okay and in this tutorial uh, uh, i'm going to show you the uh, the out of box demo okay so here i'm going to type the uh, bluetooth so that it will filter the projects all the projects related to bluetooth in the right side you could see that there are 38 resources found okay and uh, here you can able to see the lot of uh, uh, projects which are associated with the bluetooth uh, for thunderbird bg22 okay and here you can see you can find two kinds of projects uh, one is the readily available binaries so which we you will be able to see in the form of demo and in the right side you will be able to see a run button so if you click on this run button what will happen means the binaries will be automatically flashed onto the board and then uh, uh, you can uh, explore the uh, the functionality of the uh, the project okay so the one which we are interested for today's tutorial is the out of box demo so let's go for the out of box demo so this is the thermometer and then here we would like to see one project yeah here you can see that this is the project name okay we are looking for okay so the bluetooth the soc thunder thunderbird efr 32 bg 22 which demonstrates the features of thunderbird efr 32 bg 22 so this is the uh, binary or the uh, 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 project which comes by default with the uh, board so i'm going with the uh, already pre-compiled binaries okay if you want to explore the project what are the uh, code inside uh, they have written for this project you can click on this uh, create button so that it will create a project and based on that you can able to explore all the contents of the project so for now uh, i'm only interested in running the uh, demo project so i have already connected my board and then what i am going to do is i will click on this run button so here in the bottom side you will able to see the progress and it is uploading to the device wait for the upload complete and then once the upload is complete and you will able to see that there is a one onboard led is available on the fr32 bz 22 uh, which is a uh, yellow color led okay and uh, this led uh, we call it as a uh, led zero okay and that will be blinked for every one set uh, so to see the uh, some of the features of the efr 32 uh, bg 22 demo project so you need to install the uh, couple of apps from the silica labs so that you can able to find out uh, from the play store itself now go to the play store and then search for uh, uh, efr 32 connect app and here you will be able to find uh, one is the efr connect ble mobile app for android and the other one is for uh, thunderbird so for the demonstration purpose we will use the thunderbird and for all our uh, uh, bluetooth based uh, applications or projects we will use the efr connect ble mobile app for android so i recommended you to go and install these two apps okay and uh, provide the all the permissions okay and the location permissions everything so then only these two apps will work okay so once you have done that okay i have already installed in my case okay so i will go and open the uh, thunderbird app so once you open the thunderbird app okay uh, you will able to see that your board is detected okay and uh, you will also able to see as one uh, number here it's a serial number and you will also see this signal strength okay so click on here and you will be able to see that a board is going to be connected it will take some time once it is connected to the uh, uh, board okay and you will be able to see that uh, the connection uh, via usb power supply 
and here you can see that we have three options available here okay the one is a motion uh, which will uh, something related to the uh, the uh, gyroscope and accelerometer uh, and this is something related to the environment so on the board we have a, a variety of uh, environmental sensors so this tab will provide you the all the environmental sensor data and here we have a io uh, so which will uh, use it to control the button and the led so first uh, we will go to the uh, motion control okay and once the motion control is open and you will able to see that uh, the uh, efr32 bg22 app and you need to click on the uh, calibrate so here you can see the um, the um, orientation of the um, board which is directly coming from uh, accelerometer and gyro sensor which is uh, on board which is available on the uh, on board okay now go back to the main menu and then click on the environmental so and here you can see that we have different sensors available on the board one is the temperature and humidity sensor we have a ambient light sensor and a uv index sensor a magnetic field which is a hall effect sensor okay and then here you can see the temperature of the room and the humidity ambient light and uv index okay and uh, magnetic field uh, since i am actually there inside the room so you will not able to see anything related to the uv index okay and then but here you can able to see other things like uh, temperature humidity ambient light and uh, yeah so magnetic field now what i am going to do now is uh, i am going to uh, cover the fr32 bg22 using my hand okay so that you will be able to see a change in the ambient light you could see here now it almost one alex okay and then if i remove that and you will be able to see the change in the ambient light and also i have a small magnet which i am going to keep uh, nearer to the hall effect sensor okay now you will see uh, there is a change in the magnetic field you see here and also you see the door status when I, when i move this uh, magnet nearer to the hall effect sensor you see the door is closed and also you see a change in the magnetic field and if i remove that uh, magnet uh, then you will able to see change in the magnetic field and also the door, door state is open uh, that is all about the environmental uh, sensors data okay and now go back to the uh, main menu and now we will see the io control and once it is open the io control you can able to control the um, led so click on this led button and you see that the led is turned on on the board and you can click it off again and you will able to see that the led is off and i'm going to press the button uh, zero which is nearer to the usb cable okay and you will able to see the uh, whether the switch is on or off So that's all about this tutorial and if you like this video please subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching it